Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video series I will show you how you can work with all the Elementor Pro elements. In this video we will take a look at the block quote element. If you want to get Elementor Pro then click on the link below in the description. And if you buy Elementor Pro through my affiliate link, you don't pay more, but I get a commission, so thank you for that. If you want to see the result of all the Elementor Pro elements, then go to elementor2018.com and go to the page Elementor Pro. Here I will show you all the elements, so let's get started. I go to the Pro elements and I search for the block quote over here. I want to create a new area over here. I drag it in there and there you see the quote. I save it and I refresh it and there you see the quote. Of course we can adjust it, so let's do that. First I want to create a little bit more space. So I click over here, I go to advanced, I uncheck this one and the padding top will be 30 pixels and below also 30 pixels. Then I go to content and we can decide if we want to have a border over here or a quotation like that, you see quote marks, boxed or clean. I like the first one, a border at the left side. Here I can create my quote, something like that. The quote is by Ferdy Corpus Hook, that's me. And over here we can have a tweet button. If I uncheck it, it is gone. If I check it, you see it. I can say I only want to have an icon, the Twitter icon, or only the text. I want to have both. The skin, do I want to have a bubble or a link? I like the bubble. And you can say tweet or post or retweet. Something like that. I say tweet via 30 Corpus Hook, although I don't use Twitter. The target URL can be the current page, none or custom. I want it to be the current page. So when somebody tweets and you can click on the link, you go to this page. So that's it. I go to the style. We can change the text color of the quote, make it a different color. I like to make it black like that. Typography, I want to make it bigger, something like that. And I want to bring this to open sense. It's already open sense, but you can also change it to something else. I want it to be bold or you can have it really thin. I want it to be uppercase. You can choose a lot of things over here. And you can have it italic or just default. The line height, you can increase it. The letter spacing, there is so much possible. A gap between the name and the quote. And then we go to the author. I like it to be in blue. Typography, I want to make it bigger. And also in capitals. Then we have the button at the right hand side. We can increase the border radius. So now there are no corners and you can increase it. We can have a custom color. For instance, my color of my website. And if you hover over it, you see nothing. So you can also change that color to green. So if you hover over it, it becomes green. The text color, you can change it. I leave it white. I go to normal, to typography. And I like it that way. Not too big. Change all this stuff. I think this is fine. Let's go to the border. This area over here at the left. I want it to be blue. Yes. And the width. And the gap, the gap between the quote. I like this one. And what I like is this option. You can increase the space of your quote. So put it like that. And we have our quote. We can create an animation and all that stuff. I think this is okay. I save it. And this is the quote. 
it looked like this and now it looks like this. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like this video, subscribe if you want to have more videos and then I will see you next time. I wish you the best. Bye bye.